Reese Witherspoon is not only starring in acclaimed films like Wild, she has proven to have a knack for sniffing out bestsellers. Witherspoon's production company was also the impetus to adapt Gone Girl for the big screen. Man of my dreams, this man of mine may kill me. The actress teamed up with producer Bruna Papandrea four years ago to launch Pacific Standard, which is focused on finding projects presenting complex, gritty, and multi-layered female characters. The production company came to fruition after Reese found herself passing on many screenplays in which she saw the female characters as bland, nice, and just plain boring. That's how the duo came to option their first two books, Wild, based on Cheryl Strayed's memoir, and Gillian Flynn's thriller, Gone Girl, before they were published. Both books hit number one on the New York Times bestseller list at the same time. Wild and Gone Girl earned three Oscar nominations and grossed more than half a billion dollars. Buoyed by that success, the company has ramped up its acquisitions and now has 26 projects in the works, 16 of which are based on books. The actress and producer pair receive unpublished manuscripts by email from agents. They read late into the night and aim to respond within 24 hours whether to pursue or pass on optioning the book for a film or television project. The company has at least one high-profile project set for release next year, a limited HBO series based on Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, an adaptation of Jessica Knowles' Luckiest Girl Alive by Lionsgate Films could also come as early as next year. Insiders in both the film and publishing industries are watching to see whether Pacific Standard can replicate its success and what else it options. Witherspoon has emerged as one of the most influential literary tastemakers in Hollywood. With 5.7 million followers on Instagram, her book recommendations send Amazon rankings soaring. Witherspoon and Pop Andrea's picks like Big Little Lies and Luckiest Girl Alive have proven to be bestsellers. However, some other picks, such as Opening Bell and Second Life, have launched with lackluster sales. As for what kind of characters Witherspoon looks for in a book, they're certainly not perfect. In fact, she's on the lookout for women who may engage in self-destructive behavior or act in ways difficult to understand. They may not be good mothers or even strike studio executives or audiences as likable. But if I could go back in time, I wouldn't do a single thing differently. What if all those things I did were the things that got me here?